get 194.5. There it is. 345.5. Uh, check it with my work on the book. So there's example number five. Let's do a little bit more. Example six, seven, six, seven, and eight. Hmm. I have to use the quadratic formula. I don't like using the quadratic formula. So I'm going to do something else. Example six. Solve. 2x squared minus 9x is equal to 5 and solve for x. That's what we're looking for. Um, 14 minutes has elapsed. We'll probably be spending, I don't know, how, however long you want. There's a problem with this type of problem. There's a problem with this type of problem. Um, first thing you notice is that this is squared right there. So it's quadratic in nature. So that square is just going to kill you. Well, not so much. You know how to solve these uh, from Algebra 2 last year. So, uh, we first must set it equal to 0, so we move the 5 over. So it's going to be 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to show you how the fourth step here. And some people use a diamond. That's a little bit babyish stuff. If you're still using a diamond, it's fine. Uh, there's some videos out there that you can get. I personally don't like the diamond very much because it, uh, you have to me remember a lot of steps. Um, so we're going to do the fourth step. This is step one. Step two is put in your first factors. Step three is put in your signs. Step four uh, do I have any other ones? Yes, I have a green somewhere, I think. Yeah. Put in your last factor, factors, and check your oil in, check your oil in your foil. I coined that myself. Um, we'll, we'll check, we'll show you how to check your oil in your foil a little bit later on. I'm going to go really slow with you on this one. I always used to uh, uh, four step. Step one, excuse me, is that right there. Step two is the pink. Step three is the blue. And the green is step four. So I color coded everything for you. So let's work it out. The first step we do is we go boom, 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 boom. That's the easy part. Step two, put in your first factors right over here. It's going to be 2x squared, so it's going to be 2x and x. One, step three, the blue step, this minus tells you you have to look at the sign. If it's plus, they're both going to be the same sign, plus or minus. If this is minus, one's going to be a plus, one's going to be a minus, we're not quite sure. The factors are five. Step four is five and one. So we're going to put in five here and a one here. We're going to check our oil outside, minus two x, plus five x, plus three x, not quite. So we're going to switch that around and a one. Minus 10 x plus one is minus nine x. Oh, we even got the signs right. So it's going to be plus one, minus five. See how we checked our oil, the outside, O central outside minus 10x, I inner plus x is minus 9x. There it is. And then L plus 1 minus 5 is minus 5 when you multiply those two. Check your oil in your foil all the time. If you check your oil, you'll learn to do factor a lot easier. Okay? This is the first time I'm going to show you how to do this. And then we're just going to go on uh, to some of the problems that comes up. Uh, zero product property. Zip it out. That means that each factor equal to zero. Two x plus one equal to zero. X minus five is equal to zero. X is equal to negative one half. X is equal to five. This is pretty easy. Move the one over. Divide by two. Move the five over. Okay. So let's look at our answer. Negative one half and five. Perfect. Example number seven now. 
and apply this again. 2 cosine squared of t minus 9 cosine of t is equal to 5. And t is going to be restricted between 0 and 2 pi. Notice that the restriction, let me move that over just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. The t value, the restriction is between 0 and 2 pi, so it's going to be in radians, not degrees. So make sure you get your restrictions down before you start the problem. Okay? So let's get started. The problem that we have is that this right here is quadratic in nature. That 2 is killing you. So we're going to do the same step as here, except we're not going to copy it. We're just going to leave it like that. Step 1, boom, 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 boom. E Whoops, sorry, I forgot to subtract 5 equals 0, okay? Because you have to set it equal to 0. First uh, factors are 2 cosine of t and cosine of t. 2 cosine of t times cosine of t is 2 cosine squared of t. One's going to be a minus, one's going to be a plus. The factors of minus 5 is going to be step 3 or step 4. 5 and a 1, because I know that it's going to be minus 10 cosine of t, plus cosine of t is minus 9 cosine of t. So make sure you check your oil and your foil, you'll get this every single time. We, set, we zip it out, we set each factor, plus 1 equal to 0, we set cosine of t minus 5 is equal to 0, move the 5 over, Cosine of t is equal to 5. Cosine of t is equal to negative 1 half. Um, cosine of what angle equals 5? There's a restriction on the value of t, that angle. t cannot be greater than 1, cannot be smaller than negative 1. So therefore, this is no solution. For this one, if you're not quite sure, um, we could take the Reference angle, cosine of, of what angle would equal one half? It's going to be 30, 60, 90, one of those, 30, 45, or 60, one of those two, three. Uh, what angle is going to be one half? It's going to be 60 degrees, or in radians, pi over three. So that's, it's negative, uh, sorry, I'm taking the reference angle, so it's going to be pi over three. One is the cosine of that angle, negative. It's going to, if you're not familiar with this, there's a rule you can use. Uh, the rule is all students take calculus. Let's do it again. All students take calculus. All of them is going to be positive. Just the sine is going to be pos positive. Tangent is going to be positive, And cosine is going to be positive. All students take calculus. I think it's about four or five years ago. Everybody uses it. So I'm going to start to use it. Sometimes I have my own purposes, but you can use this if you want. Uh, what is the cosine negative right here? It's going to be in quadrant two and quadrant three because that's positive. So we're going to reference it this way. There's your reference angle. We're going to reference it this way. There's your reference angle. So it's going to be pi, that's pi, minus pi over 3, it's going to be 2 pi over 3, that's your first answer. It's going to be pi plus pi over 3, that's going to be 4 pi over 3. Let's do this again a little bit slower. Pi plus pi over 3, that's going to be 3 pi over 3 plus pi over 3, you get 4 pi over 3 excuse me, over 3. Okay, so that's how you get that answer, the second answer and the first answer. And do we uh, hit it within the restrictions of the tangent, I mean for the um, angle between 0 and 2 pi? Yes, we did. So it should have been 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3. Let's get example number 7. Um, yes, it says t is 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. Let's do the next problem, example number 8. This is page 3. Okay. We're actually going to be doing some problems in the book. 
uh, like I said, this book is very similar to, uh, this is uh, version 5, and the uh, one that I'm currently using is version 4. Very similar book, very similar type of problems that comes out. So let's do one more. Example 8. Solve 2 sine squared of theta plus 2 sine of theta minus 1 equals 0 and theta is going to be between 0 degrees and 360 degrees not inclusive but it could include 0 so theta has to be somewhere around here first thing we're going to do we notice it's quadratic again I'm going to try to factor this guy um, it's going to be in the form 2 x squared plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Um, this is non, it's going to be non-factorable. Any type of factors that you try to put in, let's try to work it out. 2x, x, one's going to be a plus, one's going to be a minus. The factors of 1 is 1 and 1. Minus 2x plus x, you can never get 2x here because you can't change it 1 and the 1. If you move the 1 and the 1, it's non-factorable. They're going to kind of show you that. They're going to give you a little bit of a hint. They're going to probably say, what is the approximate answer? So what do we do? Um, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. Remember that formula, guys? I know you guys are going crazy with that. Uh, pop goes the weasel. Uh, sorry. So b is, that's my b value. I'm going to write it in purple. That's my a value. That's my b value. That's my c value. So you can kind of see where your abcs will belong. I'm not going to work this out for you. Um, fine, I'll work it out for you. Negative 2 plus or minus square root of b square, which is 4 times 4 minus 4 times a, which is 2 times negative 1, all over 2 times 2. Okay. So that becomes x equals negative 2 plus or minus. Uh, that's going to be 8 plus 8 is 12. Square root of 12, we know it's going to be 4 times 3, which becomes 2 radical 3. Make sure you find that perfect square. 2 radical 3 all over 2 times 3. You notice I did not multiply it out because I know it's going to cancel here. When you cancel the 2's, you must also cancel the 2 with the second term or else you've broken the loss of math. If you break the loss of math in my class, you go to math jail. Anyways, so that's going to be negative 1 plus or minus root 3 all over 3. And using the calculator, you're going to get approximately 0 0.3661. And you're going to get, uh, so the sine of that angle, remember, our x was sine of theta. It goes 0 0.3661. And the sine of that angle is approximately negative 1.3661. I copied it straight out of the book. Sorry about that, guys. Um, 